Hi guys, um, it's me again. Um, sorry it's been a little while because um, I've been quite unwell for the last few months um, and it did lose my voice completely. Um, so it's pretty much back to normal now. So I thought I'll start doing some more makeup videos. Um, just so you know, um, I am 42. I am have studied makeup, um, but I thought I'll show um, some of the type of YouTube videos I like to to watch myself so get ready with me some makeup techniques looking at new makeup um, things that are available in the drugstore and high-end um, and things like that if you've got any suggestions please let me know in the comment section so today I'm just going to go through um, pretty simple um, glamorous New York New Year's Eve makeup look that um, I'm going to do um, possibly to wear tomorrow as well but this is the, um, the day before that so hopefully I'll have this up in time for you guys to um, get some inspiration. Um, so all the products today are available from um, the chemist or online in Australia for example, from Priceline and Chemist Warehouse um, and some things are available from Woolworths or Big W, things like that. Um, so yeah, so just sit back and let's have a go. So what I've done is I've prepped my face with some moisturiser and some eye cream. Um, so what I'm going to do is start off with um, a primer. So um, this is actually by NYX. Um, it's a Plump right back with electrolytes um, primer. I've used this before and quite like it. So I do have a combination um, skin, a um, little bit more acne prone at the moment because it's summer here in Australia, um, but I do get a little bit dry in the winter. So this is good. It helps plump, keeps the makeup on longer, um, and it's quite affordable as well. And I actually like it compared to some of the high end um, makeup as well. Okay. So I'm going to apply this all over the face um, just to show you the consistency. It is quite gel-like. That's it there. Okay. And I'm going to probably use, I think, two pumps for the face. down the neck a little bit as well. Okay, so it is, leaves it hydrated, but also a little bit tacky, so it helps the um, makeup adhere as well. Um, also I like to use an eyeshadow base before doing my eyeshadow. So the one I'm using at the moment is by Rimmel. It's called Magnif Magni eyes hopefully I said that right um, only one color was available it is quite light but um, we'll give this a go I haven't tried this one before okay just gonna put this on my eyes so disregard my eyebrows I'm getting them um, done soon and being told to not wax or pluck them myself but I may end up plucking a little of bit of them. Okay, so that's me there. Okay, so for the eye look, I do have a couple of products. Um, so depending on what you like or have available. Um, I do have something that's quite similar to the MAC um, paint, pot, paint Pots. It's by Maybelline, the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Cream Eyeshadow. So that's what it looks like there. And that's it in the middle. It's quite um, gel like and um, creamy and quite light. So I'm going to try that today all over the lid. I'm going to use a brush to help blend that in a bit more. So 
So all the brushes I'm using for today are um, available at Chemist, um, Kmart, that type of deal. Um, I do like my higher end makeup brushes, but um, a lot of these are pretty good. So this one is also is from Real Technique. I've got some from Elf and Flower Beauty as well. Okay, so that's it there. It's quite shimmery, um, but a little bit tacky. So this could possibly be used like a base, like you could do with the paint pots for MAC as well. Um, so if you really wanted to, you could leave that and just put mascara on, or if you wanted to even use a little bit of your bronzer and the transition, um, just to give it a bit more um, contour. What I'm going to do though is um, use a couple of more um, eyeshadow palettes to finish this look. So I've got one here from Revlon. It is a revised and improved formula. It's the Colour Stay Day to Night and I've got it in the shade Dec Decadent. Um, so it's got quite a few different shimmers there. Okay. Um, the only thing I don't like about it too much is that there's a shimmery brown. But I've also got a mate, sorry, an e.l.f. white size palette, um, which has all mattes in it too, so I can use that as well. Um, and what I might do is actually show you um, how to use your bronzer in your transition, so I'll do that as well. So this one here is Flower um, Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. I haven't used this one before, so I thought I'll have a go. And it is in Sunrise. There is another shade called, I believe, Sunset, but that's more a um, uh, redder shade and not more, not like a contour colour. Okay, so we'll dip into that. And let's use one of these shadows. That's it there. I've, I've um, tested a little bit. Okay. A little bit of um, fallout with that, and we're going to go into the eye socket there. And this will help push it back, so it's really good to do when you've got um, hooded eyes to push back in your crease, um, which helps open up your eye more as well. And if you want to, you can actually, if you've got a quite hooded eye, you can actually go a bit above or where your um, eyeball is to make your um, crease higher and that would help um, open up your eye. You can use that over here as well. Okay. More just on this side there. Okay. And I am going to go into one of the shimmery colours. I think I might go and use this one here from the eyeshadow palette. Um, try to use a brush first to pick that up. Um, and we'll see how we go just into the middle. Okay, that's not too bad. If you wanted to, you could use... Um, setting spray on that too to make it a bit more shimmery which I might actually do um, got the Milani make it last original natural finish spray here, sorry. Um, so I haven't tried this before, so I might try that just to spray a little bit on my brush. Whoop. And go back into that same color. And see what that's like. Yeah, that is a lot better. Let me see how much more it is compared to the other one. Okay. Okay. 
And I'm going to go back in with the same brush I used for the transition, just with the leftover powder. And I'm just going to blend that out. Okay. And I'm going to use, we'll try a little bit of the e.l.f. Um, maybe in this shadow here first, just on the edge. Um, another brush. And just put some down. Just on the corner. Just deepen it up a bit. Okay, and I'm just going to go in the last, the deepest colour there and do the same. Just not too heavy, a bit fully. Okay, just put that down and then I'll use the same fluffy brush before that I was using in transition just to fluff that out a bit more. See that just makes it a little bit more glamorous, more smoky. A bit too full on. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just grab a little bit of that dark sorry, dark shadow there, and I'm gonna go underneath the eyes just to smoke it out a bit. Okay, and I'm going to use another brush just to put the lighter shade, that one, into my inner corner. Just brighten up a little bit. Out. Okay, so I might go back in with that shimmery shade again just to put a bit more oomph back on. So I think I've lost a little bit. There you go. And what I might do is use that dark brown from the Elf and do a bit of um, like a liner on the, my eyes here, just a bit more natural, just close to the lashes. Don't want to um, use eyeliner properly because that will close up my eyes a bit more. If you wanted to, you could use a um, eyeshadow. Sorry, an eyeliner and tight line. That would be good as well. There you go. All right. So what I'm now going to do is just go off screen and um, get rid of the excess of the eyes and I'll be back. Okay, so I've gone in with a bit of micellar water um, just to clean up underneath my eyes and just put a little bit more of that bronzer back into the crease just to make it a bit more um, 
is streamlined. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, put on my foundation. So this is one by L'Oreal. It's called True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Um, so I normally use quite a um, lighter type of base. Um, so I normally like the one that is more of a tint, but I thought I would go for a um, more of a medium type of coverage because it's going to be more of a glamorous event. So um, I'm going to try this one out for you. So I've got this in shade vanilla. So that's it here. Okay, I'll just show you what the consistency looks like. So it is still a bit runny, but not too bad. Try this out. We'll go to the areas that probably need more coverage first. And some more brushes. Um, might use my Flower Beauty one here. It is clean, it's just a bit stained. Does blend away quite well. I didn't. It's quite um, liquidy, so it's quite natural to finish. So I don't know if people will like this too much. They may like the more infallible one, which is more um, of an actual medium. Um, Coverage, this seems quite light actually, so I probably didn't pick the best one for this look, but it's okay. Let's try item on. Sure, let's see how much coverage we get. Okay, so we have covered up my little acne thing there, so that's good. And it does look quite seamless and still a bit dewy as well. Okay, up here a bit more. <laughs> okay, so it's quite dew dewy, which could be the primer underneath it as well because it is meant to be more of a natural natural coverage but it's hydrating so I suppose that's why it looks like this um yeah so we'll see how that goes and it does have some SPF in it as well obviously not enough to not use SPF normally but if you're going out at night obviously you won't need that Okay, so I do have a few concealers, um, but I might try a new one um, by Revlon. It's called the Color, uh, sorry, Photo Ready Concealer. It comes like this, and it's a little wind up one there, like I call it. And I'm going to try that on some of the areas that I've got need a bit more coverage. Okay, that's pretty cool. And this here. So that did a really good job. Okay, so I would say that's a full coverage and that is in light medium. It's a perfect match, which is good. Um, and one of my favorite concealers is the NYX one. Sorry, it's just hiding. Um, it's the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Just a moment. Sorry, I just had to let my other cat in. He was just singing out because he was locked out. So you may hear some noise and potentially some cameos. Okay, just going to show you what this concealer looks like. Um, so, yep, there's Tiger there. So, hopefully it'll go in a second. So, this is what it looks like. Um, so I've got this in color light and it's quite um, 
obviously it's a serum <laughs> base so it's quite hydrating so I really like it and it's good for people like me that have um, dark under eyes um, so normally I would use a color corrector so um, it may look a little bit different <laughs> at the moment because it doesn't I don't have a color corrector underneath so I'm gonna give that a go um, so what brush I can use is one of my ones from Real Technique and I'm going to go underneath eyes here. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit more, just use my finger to put it on. Probably got too much. Probably use a bit more of that to brighten up the rest of the skin. So I can dip it here. Do my nose. A little bit on the chin. A reminder I probably used way too much um, yeah but it is a nice concealer Stand that a little bit in okay, okay. so I'm going to do is set my under eyes um, I'm going to try the NYX HD studio photogenic finishing powder so I haven't tried this before but I've heard that it's quite good um, so it's white bear white powder and use a fluffier brush just put that on and go into my front eye oops big fur <clears throat> it has mattified, but it is a true translucent powder. I must say, I do like the Fit Me one by Maybelline better. This isn't too bad. Um, yeah, but it has made the eyes and your eyes a bit um, dry looking. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back to the bronzer um, and do obviously my bronzing. So I've got the Flower Beauty one here. And let's use actually, I'm going to use cream first. So I'm trying the um, Revlon um, Ultra Cream Bronzer in medium. Um, normally I would go for light, but this has better undertone, so it's more of an ashy colour. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, complexion duo brush to help put that on. We'll put a little bit in here first. Whoop. Okay, <laughs> it's a bit crazy, but so there we go. Just going to put it on the hairline and a little bit down here. Just gonna blend that upwards. Just like that goes. Probably put 
too much on. But that's what happens when you try new products. my foundation brush just to get set up a little bit blending a bit more the trick is not to bring your um, bronzer down too far as it looks like it's a bit gray okay let's get that up here okay and just one moves the chin more So for next time, I'm not going to put as much on. Um, and also I bought a new cheek product, oops, cream cheek product from Revolution called the Super Dewy Liquid Blush. Um, and this is in shadow, sorry, shade Fake the Flush. Okay, I have tried this, just a test on and it, actually comes out quite matte coloured, sorry, texture. Um, so just be mindful of that. It's not actually dewy. Okay, we shall use just another brush just to pick this up. Put it up here. It's quite um, pigmented. I only had a little one. Sorry, a little one, a little dot on my hand, and I picked it up from the brush. And my cat is scratching. The other one is asleep. Okay, so that's it there. Um, if you wanted to, you could just leave it like that, but I actually like to set my um, cream with some of the powder. So, for example, the bronzer and a blush. Okay, just use a bit of that bronzer. About that, I just couldn't find my blush. I've got a new one that I haven't used yet. It's by e.l.f. It's the Bite Size Face Duo in shade Watermelon. So here it's actually got its own little highlighter, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I've already um, swatched this with the um, liquid blush, and it seems to be a good um, match. So I'm going to try that. Just with a little bit of a different brush. Um, okay, it's quite intense actually. Okay, that's it there. Okay, so next we are going to use some highlighter. Um, so what I might try is the Emco Beauty Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand in Champagne Glow. So this one actually seems to be a bit of a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't actually have the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it looks quite similar. I do have the um, blush one. So I'm just showing you what it looks like. Okay, let's go to his top and it's going to quickly come out. what it looks like there okay so we're gonna put a little bit on here and see how that goes
Okay, as you can see, that's quite shimmery. And what I might do too, just for, because we like to glow, <laughs> is use that um, highlighter part there. Okay. I'll just put it over where it was. Oops. Okay, and we can use some down the nose, on the lips, top of the lips there, oops. And just put there and the lip there too, if you like. Okay, so what we might also do, sorry, is um, use a little bit of that in the corner of the eye as well, the highlight. Right, so what I'm going to do now is the lips. Okay, so I do have a new lip liner by the same brand as the um, uh, Highlight and Glow Beauty one. It's the MK Beauty um, Universal Lip Liner. So that's it there. It comes with its own little cool sharpener. And that's the colour there. Okay, give that a go. Okay, it's a little bit dry, but uh, off a little bit, but seems to be okay to line lips with. Oops. Uh, I have used better ones from like NYX, so just keep that in mind and Flower Beauty, so that's okay. Alright, um, trialing also a new lipstick um, from Rimmel. Um, apparently, I think this has been out before, but it's just been reformulated. Um, it's called Lasting Pro Provocic Lips. Um, 18 hour or 16 hour lip colour, transfer proof. Um, so this shade is called Grin and Bear It. Okay, so let's see if I can show you that. It's up there. Um, okay, so that's quite nice. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. quite a nice neutral colour which I was aiming for but if you wanted to even for this look you could um, go for brighter um, lipstick as well if you like. So obviously if you're going to be out and about um, drinking, a bit eating, you'd like a lipstick that actually stays. So seeming good so far but it's starting to dry down now. It's getting a little bit dry. Um, on the other end it does have a little um, what would you call that? Moisturising lip gloss type thing on the end of it. So I'll put that on in a second. So that's it there. It's quite nice. If you wanted to just probably use another type of um, lip gloss to shine up a bit. Um, I do like the Maybelline ones, um, Lifter Glosses, and I have tried their Enco Beauty um, lip glosses as well, or Pout Gloss. 
which looks very similar to the Fenty ones. Um, there is another colour that just looks like the Fenty um, glossy colour, but this is this one. It's quite more glossy or shimmery, um, but it's a good neutral one to wear. So that's that. And what we might do is just finish off with <clears throat> some mascara. So um, I've got a new mascara to try called um, Sophia's Eyes Wide Open by Revlon. Is it there? There. <laughs> and this is the, the brush. Um, so it's got different shapes and types of bristles. Um, I alternate between liking really voluminous um, and lots of lashes to just having long lashes. So I like most mascaras. So let's give this a go. Um, I do have a lash lift at the moment. So I'm a bit curled up more than they normally are because normally my lashes um, stick forward. So um, yeah, so we'll give this a go. Oh wow, so that's delivered um, heaps of volume to the base and let's try to just lift it through, not to get too clumpy. It's a little bit clumpy on the ends but, um, oops, no, that made it worse. Let's try that, so there you go, you can see obviously it's a lot different. The other side, let's try this one. In a second. Um, oops, give this a go. It's very clumpy, so um, just keep that in mind. It is very voluminous, um, but clumpy. To the bottom. Oop. Oh, goodness. Okay, I did get a lot of volume quite instantly, but it is very clumpy looking, so I don't love it that much. There's one I've tried um, from Milani um, that I quite like. It's um, called the Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara. Um, so the brush is quite similar, but you get volume and length without it looking too um, clumpy like this one. So yeah, I might give the other one a bit more of a go later. It is quite wet, so it might be better a bit later on. But yeah, if you're looking for one that gives you length and volume, try this one here. Okay. All right. So next I'm just going to put... Um, try to put some falsies on. Um, I'm not the best at putting those on to myself, but I'll give that a go um, and then we'll be back. Hi guys, I've just come back. Um, I've just put on some eyelashes, they're pretty full on. So I don't know if I would go for this one again. Um, I have used the Kiss um, New Lashes um, Blowout and they're called pompadour so that's them there i did have to cut off quite a bit um because my eyes are smaller okay so that's those there okay for a voluminous look um and i also used the kiss um strips lash adhesive um that has no um latex as well um, but you could get something like this and have it in black as well um, which will help um, with the eyeliner because I didn't tight line you can see a little bit of where my lash is and where the falsies start so that's by tight lining that will help that look a bit better 
Okay, so um, something also to help you put your lashes on a little tip is to also put some of this, um, the glue on your actual um, eyelid as well, where you're going to put the lashes, which helps it um, adhere. Okay. Right, so last we're actually going to use that um, primer spray again. I can find it. Yep. <laughs> the one um, from Maybelline. Sorry, not Maybelline. Milani. Milani, sorry. The Make It Last. Um, that one there, the original, which is a natural finish. Um, if you wanted to go for something a bit more dewy, you could use a dewy type of one. Um, First, but I think I am quite shiny so um, I don't think I'll use this one today. Alright so let's give that one a go. Okay. Okay. And what I forgot to do is do my eyebrows. Um, I like to just brush them up. Um, sometimes I will use an eyebrow pencil to darken them a bit, um, but they're not too sparse, so I'll just use this um, blow, blow, sorry, <laughs> brow gel um, by NYX. It, um, it's called the, the Brow Glue. Um, it is clear with a little spoolie on the end. Um, so that's there. I have used it once before. Um, does make them your eyebrows a little bit crunchy, but does keep it in place. Um, the Elf um, Brow Lift, I think it's called. They're quite good to use. So um, yeah, um, and Elf does have other ones which um, are similar to this um, that have a little bit of tint in them, and they're quite good as well. So we'll do. Oops. Do our brows. Just brush them up. Okay. So I have mixed them there, gives you a bit more of a laminated look, which I quite like at the moment. Um, if you don't like it, you can always just, you know, whoops, <laughs> brow them, brow them, brush them across to look, look a bit different, but I like them up, so we'll do that again. Okay. All right, so that's the finished look there. Um, just head them out a little bit. Um... So I do normally actually use a headband to go out with, but just so you know what it looks like. Um, yeah, so that's my makeup look. Okay, guys, quite simple, um, but a little bit more glamorous, made more glamorous, obviously, with these lashes. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Okay, thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.